Welcome back, Thrill Seekers. Uh, what we've got here, and you can follow along at overunity.com and over to unityresearch.com, is we've got a couple of the David LaPointe Prime Bowls. And they've go and have a look at his stuff, go and have a look at those threads, uh, see what we're on about there, all the resources you need to replicate this or there, uh, apart from this, because this is just a this rail arrangement, because this is just a prototype uh, for testing and failure. So this is the first test. So what we've got is the, uh, the two primer bowls, and we've got this gating happening and this stems from David's experiment showing uh, uh, what he claimed was over unity. I'll let you make up your own mind about that. Uh, for my own part, I've fired, I've had two bowls on a tube like this and been able to fire uh, one set of magnets through both bowls uh, using the same amount of pressure as to shoot through one. And the distance covered is, or where the magnet lands, is further than uh, with two bowls than it is with one, even though I'm using the same pressure. So, and I've also conducted experiments where uh, I've had um, two permanent magnets in a carriage and successfully shot them through one bowl uh, using the push of the other bowl. And I think, and this is just my way of looking at it and what I can see from the fields, and if you're going to have a look at David Point's work around the, where the flip ring is in these, which is where the polarity changes, there's, a, there's a, an imbalance of fields here, or field strength if you like. Uh, we've got a very wide, excuse the dirty fingers, we've got a very wide uh, uh, field here. Uh, and then at the, at the base of the bowl, um, there is a very strong focused field as opposed to this very wide, weaker field. So you've got this imbalance. So it's easier for the magnets to pass through the, the opposing, which is what they're doing here. They're opposing uh, here. And then they get pushed out through this stronger field at the back with enough force. And the question is, and I don't think this one will work because of the arrangement of of the rail and you can see the amount of movement there and everything else. Um, uh, in the tube experiment, there's enough force from that uh, propulsion of, at the exit to break through the weaker strong field. So whether that transfers into this arrangement, that's a, that's a whole other question, uh, which you're about to find out along with me. So uh, there'll be a bit of jiggery pokey, pokery going on here, see if what happens, but it probably won't work, but it might fall apart as well. <laughs> so we'll see. It's a bit rough. There's a few things stinging there. Sticking there. So my bowl's come loose there, so that's not going to help. But, just feeling that force going through there, when that was stable, uh, I think it's got potential. So, I'm probably going to rebuild these bowls, and uh, uh, so I've got a greater aperture at the back here. And may have to go with a slightly larger rail arrangement. I don't think these rollers are the answer. Uh, I think maybe something underneath, um, whether you have a wheel, but you're limited to the size of the, the diameter of the wheel that you can have to fit the arc of whatever you're doing, um, would be better, like, you know, six of those around or something like that. Um, anyway, but you can see there that there's potential for a little gate happening and I know that it will shoot through two rings so if I can get if we can get this right arrang this arrangement right uh, I think it'll be worth playing with these are just hot glued down incidentally I didn't want to wreck my board yet until I knew what was going to happen but that was interesting I've got a lot of friction a lot of rough spots there uh, I really need something where I can adjust and focus the 
uh, the bowls and the stand. So I might have to reprint these or at least in the interim print a new stand that I can adjust uh, the angle to fit these existing bowls because it's it's time consuming uh, to, to make these bowls, as you can imagine. Uh, so, um, yeah, there you go. A fail, but a good fail because I learned a bunch of stuff.